Hey guys, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena here. I just wanted to take a couple minutes to update you as to the status of Retro Arena for the Odroid Go Super. Had some interesting events happen today. The first one you're seeing right now is Nintendo DS working. You can get to the other screen by pressing this button. You can also make it so that it shows both screens, but I don't know why you would necessarily want to. So there's the first new development from today. There's a couple other new things in here too. I'll go through and I'll get to it. Bear with. Oh, I wanted to show you guys Super Game Boy too because there's a difference here. You go to Game Boy, I see Bomberman 3. I'll launch it for you so you can see what's going on. So as you can see here, just a regular Game Boy game. Nothing special about it. So then, you go out of there and you go to Super Game Boy. That's Game Boy Advance. Launch the same game, Bomberman 3. You'll see the difference almost right away. Color. Just wanted to let you guys know what that was before people ask me about it later. Everything else is good here. These are all working. Uh, Saturn, only some games are playable, but that's always been the case. There's nothing new there. Got Amstrad CPC. I think I pronounced that wrong, but I showed that in the last video. <coughs> Excuse me. I've also added... Where are you hiding? Ah, there we go. Amiga makes its appearance here. Right now, it's using the Core PUAE. I do have Amaberry included in this build. I just haven't set it all up yet, so I'm not using it in this video. But it will be in the uh, final build. It's already there. It's just not configured yet. I'm not going to get super into it. I just want to show you guys that it plays. Uh, takes a minute to get into this game. It's Lemmings, by the way. So, <clears throat> when you're playing Lemmings and some other games with this emulator, this is your L2 button here. Is your clicky button, and this moves around the, the cursor on the screen. So, like for Lemmings, you're using this to move and pressing L2 to tell the Lemmings what to do, basically. It took me a while to figure that out. That's why I'm explaining it. But as you can see, there's Lemmings. I think we're at 75 systems now. Commodore 64 is there, Channel F, we already talked about that. And yeah, that's about all that's new to... Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to skip right by VHS and not tell you guys what this is. This is probably the most exciting development. Um, here, check this out. So what you're seeing here is up to 720p video playback now possible on the Odroid Go Super directly from Emulation Station. I can't, I haven't set it up completely yet, it's a brand new development, so I can control the volume here with the buttons, that works. But I haven't got in as far as setting up um, <clears throat> pause, play, rewind, and uh, fast forward yet. I will, obviously, and also a hotkey to exit. So yeah, um... Just wanted to let you guys know there that you'll be able to put videos on and watch them on your Odroid Go Super when you get it. This here is a sample video, which is 720p. Just let you guys watch that for a moment so you can see the clarity. It is really good. There's no like lagging. There's no, it's not dropping a bunch of frames. It's very watchable. I figure people would enjoy that feature. So there you go. So we got Amiga, we got Nintendo DS, we got video playback. I've sorted out the issue of the card auto expanding at first boot, so you no longer have to run the script or do anything. It will resize to whatever size your SD card is as soon as you boot it the first time. And other than that, that's about it for now. There's still some emulators I'm working on. I'm hopeful I might be able to get um, Daphne working. 
Here, but these are just, there's a couple other things I'm working on too, but I'm going to save that for the next video. As always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Take care.